Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two method on how to resize and crop your image. If you have not installed GIMP, you can follow my video on how to install GIMP. I have included the video link below, or you can follow my channel, do it 8. Let's say you need a photo size of 800 times 900 pixels for online official photo submission. I'm going to show you the first method to resize and crop your picture. Open your GIMP software and go to File and click New or press Ctrl N on your keyboard. The Create New Image dialog box pop up. Double click on the Width column and enter your value. Then double click on the Height column and enter your value. Make sure the appropriate unit value is selected and is indicated over here as well. Once you have entered all the desired value, click the OK button. Your canvas will be displayed and this is also the cropped size of 800 times 900 pixels. Now to add your image, go to File and click Open as Layers or press Ctrl Alternate O on your keyboard. The Open Image as Layers dialog box pop up. Select the image from your stored location and click Open button to confirm. You will only see part of your image, if your image is bigger than your canvas size. This will also add a new layer to your project. Make sure the image layers are selected as highlighted here or you can click here. There are two ways to resize the image. First, you can click on the scale tool icon or press shift S on your keyboard. Or you can go to tools. Transform Tools and click Scale or press Shift S on your keyboard. Make sure the Keep Aspect Ratio is enabled like this icon. This will resize the image proportionally. Now click on the Opacity value to about half its value. With the Scale tool selected, click on top left of the image and drag to resize. To zoom out, press the minus key on your keyboard. You can press minus key several times to zoom out further. Alternatively, you can press shift plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. You can also click and drag from any corner of the image to resize. Click on the center box to reposition your image. The scale icon indicator will change according to the corner selected. Once you are happy with the result click on the scale button to confirm. Now click to change back the image opacity to 100%. To export your image, go to file and click export or press Ctrl E on your keyboard. The image export dialog box pop up. Select location to save your image. Click select file type by extension and search for JPG. Click JPG File Extension, rename your file and click Export. The Image Export Properties dialog box pop up. You can leave the default value and click Export button to save your image file. Now I'm going to show you the second method to resize and crop. With your GIMP software open, go to File, Open as Layers. The Open as Image Layers dialog box pop up. Select your image and click Open to load your image. Now go to Tools, Transform Tools and click Crop or press Shift C on your keyboard. Or you can click on the Crop icon or press Shift C on your keyboard. With the Crop tool selected, click and drag to crop the image. Now we are going to change the crop size to the actual value. Double click on the width size and enter the value. Then double click on the height size, enter the value and press enter key. Click on the scale tool icon. Then change the opacity to half the value. Click and drag on the image to resize. You can click and drag on any corner side of the image to resize. You can press the Shift plus key or minus key on your keyboard to zoom in and out of view. Click on the center box to reposition the image into the crop box. 
Once you are happy with the size and placement, click on the scale button to confirm. Now change the opacity of the image back to 100%. To export your image, go to File and click Export As or press Shift Ctrl E on your keyboard. The Image Export dialog box pop up. Select Location to save your image. Rename your file and ensure the file extension is JPG and click Export. The image export properties pop up. You can leave the default value and click Export button to save your image file. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give a like below. Please subscribe to my channel for more video and leave a comment.